Hey everybody, it's me. I'm recording something on my OBS right now, which I'll probably uh, use for my channel sometime soon there. Probably uh, sometime next week, or this coming week I should say, I'll probably be uh, conjuring something up from it. Let me start by saying thank you to uh, Five Off Ken, my boy YR, Danny MT, Jacob RP, and Prince Ido for all being guests on my channel last night. We had amazing viewership. We had fun. And I also gained a couple of new subscribers along the way. Once again, we got to do it again. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of awkward to say, but knowing me, how I speak at times. Also, to Mr. Simo back in Detroit. No, dude, I am not ripping off any of your cooler updates that you have on your channel. I didn't know you had any uh, on your channel there until um, you made that comment on one of my videos. See, the reason I often do uh, videos from the cooler is because the room that I work in has a speaker playing music, annoying music, almost all the time. So I have to go in the cooler to get down whichever video comes to mind. Whether it's a discussion or a topic or a bulletin. So there you go. Now on to the main thing here. And I feel the need to express this along with everybody else in the uh, food business. Whether it's a gas station, Mickey D's, or uh, some supermarket near your area there. On my way to work this morning, I stopped in the gas station to get something like a couple snacks and a drink and something for my lunch. <clears throat> and there was a sign on the entrance door saying, please be respectable to our customers Abusive behavior will not be tolerated. And I see why uh, they put that up there. Obviously, they had some uh, disgruntled customers raising hell with the employees there for whichever reason. We've seen videos of uh, people throwing tantrums, throwing punches, throwing items food, at uh, Mickey D employees, Pizza Hut employees, Starbucks, for whichever dumb reason they conjure up, whether it's uh, their milkshake was made too thick or there's not enough pickles in their cheeseburger. I cannot count how many uh, videos I've seen of Fist fights break it out at the nearby Waffle House. Now we have one uh, located near where we live, and so far there has yet to be an incident that I heard of. <clears throat> but too many times, and I've seen this happen, employees at restaurants, grocery stores, gas stations, get a lot of verbal flack from uh, disgruntled people. Sometimes a fight often breaks out and cops had to be called in. I remember ages ago around the 1980s at a record store near our area there. There was this one guy going off on this female employee behind the counter. And the uh, store had to actually uh, call the police to help solve the matter. I drove by a nearby Walmart. I drove in the parking lot because I had to get something for the house here. And I saw there was this guy walking out, you know, screaming and hollering and all the employees at the Walmart were keeping an eye on him. So something must have went down earlier before I showed up. <clears throat> 
There was another time at the uh, grocery store I worked at back in uh, Southeast Michigan during the early 2000s. This woman was demanding to know if I had a uh, two liter Diet Coke in the back. I just came from there and the uh, spot where we stack all the Coke bottles was completely empty. We have yet to even get a shipment in. Woman was persistent. I go back into the back and uh, see if they had any there. I told her I just came from the back and I observed there was none there. Can you go back and check please? But ma'am, I said, I don't care what you say. Go back now and check if they have any Diet Coke in two liters. She was getting disgruntled and uh, offensive with me. I went back and uh, checked once again and I informed her there was none there. She started uh, raising her voice saying, why don't you have an in stock? What is wrong with your delivery truck? Why don't you have this and that there? I pay good money, blah, 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 you know. I think it's time that all these people out there quit with the entitlement attitude. It's destroying everything around us. It's destroying our culture. It's destroying our perspectives. And it's destroying my outlook towards society. You know, but unfortunately, people have this now, um, it's me, me, me complex that they got in their head there. It's about me and nobody else. Where it came from, we don't know exactly where and how or why. But the bottom line is, we should all be respectable to the workers at whichever place we come into. Where it's a hardware store, where it's a restaurant, gas station, post office. Should, doesn't matter. Show respect and you will get respect in return. You know? Let's lay off the entitlement attitude and start being real. That is all I ask. In the meantime, after I'm done recording this piece here, I'm going to hit the hay. Probably a stream a techno set tomorrow night when I get home from work. Haven't decided yet. But in the meantime, like this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. And enjoy the remainder of your Saturday evening or Sunday morning, since it's going to be now in about a less than a half hour. Bye bye.